In this video, we're gonna take a look at another application problem. Um, it says it costs $5 for four ice cream bars. How much will 12 of them cost? Of course, here we're assuming that um, the price per ice cream bar uh, remains the same um, as the number purchased goes up. So, um, kind of like we did in the last one, we're, we have kind of this $5 and four ice cream bars, you know, we can see really go together, right? five dollars four bars All right, these two numbers go with each other um, but what is it asking us to find um, something we always want to do no matter what kind of story problem we're given is first figure out what they're asking us to find right well we understand that first of all x is going to be how much will 12 of them cost so x is going to be how much 12 ice cream bars cost so we don't know how much that will be so I'll just write down X dollars but that's gonna go along with 12 bars All right so we know that comparing five dollars to four bars is going to equal comparing X dollars to 12 bars now the a, a real key here is that whatever is happening in this fraction the same sort of thing is happening over here so notice we have dollars on top in both fractions and in both fractions we have um, the number of bars on the bottom okay now there are multiple ways to set up proportions um, another way that you could have done this is you could have said that comparing five dollars to x dollars is going to be the same as comparing four bars to 12 bars okay and in this case the corresponding items on the top and bottom are on top we have the lesser amount right so the amount of money and the number of bars that go with a lesser amount and the amount of money and number of bars that go with the greater amount. So that would be another way you could set this up. Um, it is possible to set up proportions incorrectly, however. So an example would be if I had the 12 on top here and the 4 on bottom, then I would have the lesser amount of money going with the greater number of bars both on top and then the greater amount of money going with the lesser number of bars and so they can't be mismatched like that so there are lots of ways to set up a proportion but you need to basically have the same thing happening on the tops and bottoms of the fractions um, whether that's them representing both representing the lesser amount or greater amount or whether they're representing the same exact unit um, in this case dollars on top number of bars on bottom all right, uh, but let's go ahead and just go ahead and solve this one here. So we have 5 fourths equals x over 12. I'll do my cross product. So we have 5 times 12 is equal to 4x. 5 times 12 is 60. You can do your scratch work over on the side if necessary. And then finally, we can divide both sides by 4. Okay, sorry about the diagonal nature of my algebra here. That's a little bit sloppy, but even when I'm kind of being a little careless, I'm still making sure that my equal signs um, fall into a line here. So please make sure you do that as well. Uh, 60 divided by 4. Again, you might use some scratch work there. However, uh, 60 divided by 4 is 15, right? Because if you divide 60 minutes into four equal parts, that's... 15 minutes a piece. So x equals 15, but we do not write this as our final answer, right? Uh, we make sure that when we write that final answer and indicate what it is, make sure you put units with it, right? So 15 what? Well, remember we were looking for the number of dollars that went with 12 ice cream bars, so we put our dollar sign in front there. So x equals $15.